Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Buddies Forever. It's an ever after high time. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, a new line, the most recent, um, I believe, of Ever After High, which is called Back to School Dolls. Just thought I'd do a little review. Technically, I'm not gonna be doing that many reviews anymore. I mean, a lot of these lines are just not making dolls I want. And um, Ever After High, eh, you know. We don't even have to discuss it. Stuff's happening and who knows how far it's going to go, but I, I, I'm going to keep to the playlist and keep showing the entire collection because I started this collection with you guys here on YouTube, so I want to complete as I get things. There is obviously Darling Charming, Michelle Mermaid, and Blondie Locks. You can kind of tell while I picked those two are my favorites and her, I love having a second, so I could not resist. On the back, you can see there's a Madeline and what is that, that Holly right there, I think. Well, no, it looks like they got Cupid as well. Um, Grayscale Warrior, Mr. Gray has um, a review of all of them, I believe. And I think he fixed them all up too. Um, I'm not going to be getting all of them unless I find them secondhand shopping or something like that or outrageously cheap. This one was $19.99. I got some of these for my birthday. And um, she is articulated. I laughed. I said to my mom, hey, mom, look, she's the flasher doll. She's like, she is not. So it was kind of funny. I tried to shake it down and fix it, guys. She deserved better than that. I couldn't get it down before opening it, so that's too bad. Blondie is not articulated in the wrists, nor the knees, I don't think. Same with these ones, which are less. I think they're $14. Happily, I happen to have these around with fairly matching skin tones, so I can work with them. These are Gracie's old dolls, or some I did grab in lieu of this at secondhand shopping. Don't know which. So let me get them all unboxed, and then we can have a peek at these three beauties. Oh, Ever after our beauties, darling Michelle and Blondie. Um, interesting. <laughs> I guess that's what I gotta say the most. Michelle being the one who comes with all the quote-unquote bells and whistles. Kind of like how interesting how a basic slimline box used to be back in the day is now what the higher up cost one in a bigger box is, which is quite interesting. I believe from uh, Mr. Gray's video, a lot of this stuff is repeated. I think I might not have that exactly right, um, but these shoes definitely look like briars. This has been used with ginger. I don't know if I've seen this before. It's a little card just for you to check out. No hems, but over here, not bad. I don't think there's a big change in the face from the original, but she's there and she is articulated, so that's good, so that's Michelle. Then we have, um, oh my God, I just went blank on her name. My favorite, Darling. <laughs> Darling, Charming. Oh goodness, I'll be feeling really stupid if I mess that up. She comes with a little book, um, none of them have stands. That's to be expected these days. Oops, I got her shoe on wrong there. Cute shoes on the last. And um, again, yeah, definitely no knee articulation, no hems, no articulation here. Her face is very uh, joyful, I guess is the word. The glasses look like Rosabella's, redone. Um, I don't know if she just feels thinner because I haven't played with my dolls in so long or they are thinner. I'm not quite sure about that. It's been a long while, I can't answer that. I do have this body. It seems to look pretty close, a little not quite as peachy. There's a peachy orange undertone in there, so I might have to rework think that. But uh, for now, it will do. The light plays tricks on it. Then we got Blondie, another cutie pie. Same glasses. Um, she doesn't look very different. Dress. They don't have much makeup on. I guess they don't always have much makeup on. The usual, like I said, those certainly look like Briar's shoes to me, definitely cute again these are the these two are the lesser boxes the skinny ones that cost less and um i don't know guys <laughs> i want to be positive and wonderful i'm glad i have these because um they're my favorites and michelle is a second and fully articulated but um these have turned into like toddler dolls or something minus the parts that you choke on they're just very simple and um i guess that's why i if i not watched the video i probably wouldn't have bought any and only because I watched that video, I decided on these ones and had luckily had lots of time to keep in mind for bodies to change these out. And I probably will not buy any more from this line. No, I know I won't because I just don't want to be swapping bodies and I don't know, they're just not doing it for me. But I'm glad I got these 
and um, tell me how you feel about all that. I know everybody's been talking and I've missed it about Ever After High for the most part ending. You know, it just is what it is and I'm glad we were all part of it. I'm glad you guys got me into it and um, on that note, I have some stuff to finish which is so dusty. The other dolls in the boxes are so dusty. I can't believe how dusty they are. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get to that. Hope you've enjoyed this doll review for these back to school Ever After High girls and uh, tell me of course what you think. See you next time.